explain gradient and its types. In the previous sections, we have studied about the horizontal alignment of road which guides the turns on the road. Similarly, vertical alignment of road guides the rise or fall in the road, mainly in hilly areas, according to the driver's safety and comfort. The vertical curves are of two types, convex crest curve and concave sag curve. These curves connect the two gradients. Gradient is defined as the rate of rise or fall along the length of the road with respect to the horizontal. Now let's see the elements of vertical curve. The PVI point is the intersection of two grade lines. The PVC is point along the first grade line at which the vertical curve begins. The length of PVC is always half of the length of the vertical curve from PVI. The PVT is along the second grade line at the end of vertical curve. G1 and G2 are the percentage of the two grades near the origin. The length L of the vertical curve is the horizontal distance from PVC to PVT. Phi is the offset of vertical distance from the grade lines to the vertical curve. It is maximum at PVI. In design calculations, the algebraic difference between gradient is used, which is equal to the difference between entry gradient and exit gradient. The gradient rising in the direction of movement is considered to be positive. And the falling gradient is considered to be negative. Here are the six different combinations of gradients. When the algebraic difference of the intersecting gradient is positive, the curve is known as crest curve. When the algebraic difference of the intersecting gradient is negative, the curve is known as sag. The ascending gradient is denoted by plus n and negative gradient as minus n. At the intersection of gradient, the algebraic difference between two grades gives the angle which measures the change of direction. IRC specifications for gradients for different terrains are The types of gradient are Ruling gradient is the maximum gradient with which the designer designs the vertical profile of the road. It depends on the following factors. Limiting gradient is adopted when the ruling gradient results in enormous increase in cost of construction. Exceptional gradients are comparatively steeper which cannot be avoided. The successive exceptional gradient must be separated by a minimum 100 meter length of gentle gradient in mountainous and steep terrain. Minimum gradient is provided for drainage purpose which depends on rainfall, type of soil and site conditions.